I want to see him get mad. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Hey, I heard you the key. I already had the key. Yeah, it was, it was distilling. <laughs> now that was loud. God damn. Alright guys, welcome back. So, today... Hopefully will be in a Titan video because I'm going to try my best to Hopefully do the first startup on the truck with the twin turbos to catch you guys up on Everything that I've done off camera and everything. I got the timing cover back With these two new fittings and I went ahead and did the lines already the drain lines for the turbos So this is for I think this side And then I got the other one for the other side so that's all done. All I gotta do is put silicone on the bottom, torque it down, put all the bolts back in, and then put the balancer back on, and then water pump. All I gotta do is put hose clamps on this side, here and here, because I extended it. So the thing I wanna do first before starting the truck, I guess you don't really have to do this, but you should want to do it in case there's anything inside the headers, like, you know, shaving metals or anything like that, trash. Um, you want to take the turbos out and then kind of start it and then while you're doing that you can go ahead and test the feed lines you can put like a water bottle on them to make sure you're getting oil to them because if you just have it hooked up like that you're not really sure if it's feeding oil to the turbo so that's one way of kind of making sure the turbos getting uh, oil that way you get everything out of the header and it doesn't go into the turbo. I'll probably do that. I don't think there's anything on the headers because they're brand new and I didn't have to modify them. And I also got the cold side pipe welded for the wastegate. So here's that. You guys can see, got the welded and I already got the blow valve. On the exhaust for the turbos, I'm thinking I'm gonna take off my hood temporarily just while I save or figure out another way that I can run my exhaust but for now it's just gonna be up the hood well it would be out the hood but I'm not gonna drill a hole in my hood so I'm just gonna take it off for now so it's gonna be hoodless and then the turbo is just gonna be straight up and look at this got some teardrops for the turbos so I got two got this one and then I got this one for the other turbo I also got some tiny ones for the wastegates. So the way I want it is go here up and then with the wastegate here like right next to it and then same on this side just kind of here here and then this one right next to it so it'll kind of be like two teardrops right next to each other and then I also got to weld the brackets so as you guys saw I put bolts here on the back so I think what I'm going to do is just kind of throw a little bead right there kind of weld it where it's loose right now because I loosened the bolts but I think I'm going to weld it that way it's a little more sturdy. So yeah guys that's enough talking let's go ahead and get started working on it get stuff knocked out that way hopefully we can get it started today I really want to get it started. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to run right because I still haven't got the computer tuned. I still need to message uh, LSX Unlimited. That's where I'm going to go. Uh, he's located in Alvarado. So I'm going to take my computer to him so he can do a bass tune. And I think he said it's about a, it's going to be like 80% done. So it will be drivable after that. And then I can just take it to him and then he'll dyno tune it and then kind of dial it in after that so I gotta get that done but at least I want to get it turned on and running and make sure everything's good all right let's fire it up all right so I'm just gonna throw a quick little bead just 
kind of hold it in place. That should do. I got a little bit of silicone on the bottom because my oil pen gasket's bad. I'm about to replace it later on, but just so it won't leak right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Hopefully for the last time, I took this thing out like five times. All right, I got the timing cover back on, finally. I got the drain lines tying down at the bottom, both of them. I just got them hanging here and here because I'm not gonna connect them yet. So next thing I'm gonna do is throw the harmonic balancer back on and the water pump. That should be pretty easy. All right, here we go. I'm gonna drive it in. Hopefully I don't have to charge my battery. I only got three bars left on this battery. I got my other one charging just in case. Now we got two left, but it's all the way in. And that's how it matters. Let me show you guys how much space we got. So, as you guys can see now, if I would have done this in the first time, I'm pretty sure I would have been pretty much done now. Because this pushed me back a lot, so. Crank all the way in. Literally have like two or three inches on each side of clearance. And then I also got to put my oil dipstick on. And I need my wife to help me with that because I can't see where the hole's at. So I gotta get under the truck and then have her. I'm trying to film here, talk about it. But yeah, I gotta have her on top, try to push it in while I'm under looking at the hole to see where it's at because I can't see it from on top with the forward facing headers because it blocks the side of it. Alright guys, so I got a couple of things out of the way, so I already got the hose hooked up. I kind of got on the way here. I cut it a little short, so it was like a little longer. And I'll probably figure out a better way to put this or either put heat wrap here. That way it doesn't hit up the compressor side. And then I already got the piping on. Tight and everything with the, I just got to tighten down the blow valve, but I already got all the hoses tying down and everything all the way down to here. Y'all wanna see him get mad? Watch. <laughs> Alright guys, quick update. I got the oil dipstick in already. Kinda of struggled a little bit, but it's in already. And I got the turbos out and the oil feed lines in water bottles. So I can see if there's oil pressure coming out. And then whatever's inside the header is just gonna blow it out. So we're probably just gonna turn it on for like five seconds or so, or until oil starts coming out, and then we'll turn it off. So my wife's gonna turn it on for a oh, little you bit. Want me to? Yeah, you turn it on. All right. I'm scared. It's just gonna be loud. All right, Dan, you're not gonna be able to see to me. All right, I just just go for it. Done. I'll stand over here so you can see me. Did you turn the key a little bit? Yeah. It's probably dead. Hold on. I guess just try going for it. <laughs> Did it die? Ah, it's not as loud as I thought it was. Try it again. Oh, hold on. Is that coil pack on? Yeah. yeah, try it again. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I just forgot I'm missing one. Duh. Got one spark plug wire right here. Alright, I already got the wire back on. 
I already see some oil in here, so that's good. How about this one? God damn. It's quite a lot actually. We'll just let it run for a little longer. Alright. Go for it. Ah, I turned off the battery thing. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Try one more time. It, it filled up this water bottle. <laughs> oh, hey, I heard the key. I already had the key. I want. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was dissolving because it, it was just throwing a lot of fuel. So <laughs> you, you you cut it, but it was still firing. You want to take you want to take that line out? Yeah. It's not hot, right? No. It filled up quick. God dang. No mama. I know my oil is not that dark, come on. I changed it not that long ago. Well, oh, it looks dark, but it's not dark. Huh? You thought it was catching on fire? Yeah, I was like, I'm about to take off right now. No. <laughs> Alright, so we emptied the bottles. Then, we're gonna try it again. Hopefully this time, she's gonna pump it on the gas a little bit. See if it actually, like, idles a little bit. So, here we go. Go for it. Now that was loud. God damn. Uh. Uh, I think we're good. Uh, I think uh, waking up the whole block is good enough. No? Nah? Do what? I think waking up the whole block is good enough. Or. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. Or shit, go for it again if you want to. Hold on. Hold on. How much did it pump? Now you're good. It didn't pump that much oil in it. Uh, it's like a little less than half. Just do half throttle, not so much. Well, that's what I did. Okay. Or do one this time. Four? One. <laughs> not four. <laughs> Jeez. That's it. That's good enough. It's filling up the bottle quick. Yeah, that's good enough. Damn, I didn't even get to press it down. You did it? No. That's just gonna be fucking loud with the turbo. I mean, whatever was in here, it's not out. I'm sure. It's so loud. Ooh, they got warm. No, that seemed like that was hot because you said, "How much am I getting paid?" Huh? How much are you paying me? For what? Turning your truck on. Uh. Oh, I got a dollar for you. That hurt my hand and foot. <laughs> Cha-ching. Cha-ching. All right, guys, so there you have it. Finally fired it up enough to where we checked that it has the uh, oil pressure on the lines. So as you guys saw, it does. And then it fired up a little bit. And as you can tell, it does need a tune pretty bad. So I'm gonna try to get that computer out to LSS Unlimited. That's gonna be it for today's video. Finally fired it up. Literally all I gotta do is just put the turbos back and then do the exhaust and hook up the drain lines. And then it's all just pretty much turn it on, let it idle, make sure everything's all good after that. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm pretty sure the next video is gonna be firing it up with the exhaust done and everything like that. I still gotta make them, but they should be pretty quick. How about the 90s done already? That way it'll be a lot easier for me and I don't have to do pie cuts. And I don't have to do like so much cuts and welds and all that. So yeah guys, stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe, help out the channel, click that bell notification. And also comment down below what else I should do to the truck. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking around and everything. I'll see you guys in the next video.